this video something different. We're on a road trip, we've got a trailer on the back and two scooters on board. We're heading north out of Sydney to Noosa in Queensland, some 1,000 plus kilometres to attend the annual Winterfest, a scooter rally in the heart of Queensland. Check it out. So we're in an old Toyota Land Cruiser. In the trailer, we have two scooters. We have the Scoopy Bob and Jogzilla. We are spending two nights and three days to get to our destination. Night one, we stop at the beautiful town of Port Macquarie. Night two, we're stopping on a river in the Tweed Heads area. And this trip is gonna be one that we will never forget. Stay tuned. All right, we've made it to our first destination here in Port Macquarie. Check it out. Land Cruiser looking awesome. There's our fire pit for the night. And here we are. The bike's made it okay, no damage. Right by the riverfront. This place also has animals that you can feed and little goats. Say hello. Say hello, 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 hello. Say hello. Two stroke all the way, bro. Last night's campsite was absolutely spectacular. After spending some time patting and feeding the animals, the wind started to pick up. Weather is also wreaking havoc in Sydney. A 98 kilometre an hour gust of wind. Two trees were brought down on the back of this property. The roof of the local shops uh, was torn off. By we braved it out. We cooked some burgers. The wind was too great and we had to retreat. And that is how we've ended up right here. We've retreated to a motel, but the trip must go on campsite number two we are here four wheel drive is there fire pit down there and some water down there somewhere let's set up the four wheel drive setting up the four wheel drive takes nothing but a few minutes whilst enjoying a frosty beer while preparing tonight's meal roast chicken in the camp oven Australia does not have a Disneyland like many other countries, instead we have worlds. Passing on our left, we have Wet n Wild, we have Movie World, we have Sea World and we have Dream World. They're not that special. Alright, we have just reached Noosa. We've made a little stop, we've picked up Bill and Dan, there's Bill ahead on the Honda Spacey. Denos in the car with a trailer full of scooters. Winterfest, next stop. We've finally arrived at Winterfest. Over here, we've got the scooters unloaded. We've got Bill and Dan. They've already dropped their scooters off at the pub. So we're gonna ride these two bikes up to the pub and check out the other scooters. If you want to see the complete build on this Honda Scoopy aka Metropolitan, click the link above.
We are here, day one of a two day event, so not all the bikes are here, but let's have a look at some of the scooters that have already arrived. say I have a soft spot for these Italjet scooters. The Formula 125 twin cylinder, all like this one, the Italjet dragster, the 180cc. Would you like to see me build one of these guys on the channel? We're back from that short little ride. There's a lot of bikes here. Some more bikes over there. I'm going to show you guys what's here. So a new Dio. So check this guy out. The Italjet Jag stuff that was riding with us before. And they're the ones who are complaining. A bit like you, Bona, but I'll leave that at the back of my eyes. Really, really go. It's spacey. Big MP3 Piaggio. Another jog. Like the Jogzilla. Yeah, Piaggio Zip. Say hello. Hey. You're now on YouTube. Yo. <laughs> 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 
Now for the Vespers, and I'm not much of a Vespa channel, but I do have a soft spot for anything Vespa, as I've had a 62 before, but check these guys out. I like this one. I love the patina. And good morning. Day two of Winterfest and currently we've got 60 bikes sitting here ready to go. Check them out. So we've got all the others which is basically the Jap bikes, Peugeots, that kind of thing. All the way down here. Then the Lambrettas. And then all the Vespers. And here are the boys from Custom Scooters Australia. Dan the Man G'day. and Dirk. Alright, so we're getting ready to ride out. Okay, the ride is about to commence. Look at all the scooters behind me. All that two-stroke blue smoke in the background. I've got an issue with Jogzilla. It's making a funny noise from the clutch area. Check out the build series of the 70cc street race jog that I'm riding right now. Click above. Looks like we may have lost Dirk. You might be wondering who is riding the Honda Scoopy, aka the Scoopy Bomb. Well, I guess it's time to introduce mrs scooter bomb and that is her bike and she's pretty pleased with it since the cdi from rolling wrench unlocking all that horsepower but things don't really go to plan you'll just have to keep watching i really like that lamb brother I have to say, this little Scoopy goes so good now, being de-restricted. That CDR from Rolling Wrench is an absolute ripper. Yesterday we were topping around 80 k's an hour on it. So being 50cc, obviously, the little Scoopy is a bit limited. <laughs> But it's doing all right. An opportunity here to catch up. Modern Vespa. I think that one.
comes the 300. Alright, we've got a problem. Scoopy down, scoopy down. We've pushed it a little bit too hard. It uh, starts, it idles funny, give it a few revs and it kind of picks up. But I'm afraid the Scoopy has met its match. We pushed it a little bit too far and um, it's not running so well. Something that I'm sure we can fix. We've arrived at the train station to see some sort of steam train or whatnot, but there he is up on the back of the tow truck looking very sorry and miserable. So we'll have a look. Some really, really fast bikes on this event. Some of these Vespers are really quick. This grey lambretta. After the ride with one of us on the way back on the back of a tow truck, the festivities turn to a slow ride competition. And this is where the Jap scooters really held their own. On the left, we've got Dan, then Jamie, and of course, Bill on the Honda Spacey. Dan takes this one out. The Vespers are also pretty good at the slow ride competition. Left closest to screen we've got Romana, who F-bombs in just a second. And of course Mick, who takes this one out. And the silliness continues. For those that remember, the goodies. Yep, that is the original 3-up bike and the comedy continues. The boys on the Vespa are doing really well, going very, very slow. I think the guy on the right here takes it out. Of course, this is an actual competition with actual prices, and I didn't win it. That's me on the right, so who really cares? The final of the slow ride comp. Some two and a half thousand kilometers. We're back here in the Scooter Bomb workshop. And we've picked up a new bike. Check this guy out. This is a Honda Nifty 50. Very similar to what the US has, which is a Honda Spree, or a Honda Eve, or even a Honda Melody. Pretty much the same bike. This guy needs a whole lot of work. It's got no cylinder on it, no head and no piston. It's missing a few of the panels, but that is all easily sorted. All right team, damage report. What damage do we sustain on the journey? Well, let's start with this one, the Honda Scoopy or the Metropolitan as the Americans know it. This one ended up on the back of a tow truck, which you would have seen in the video. Let's get it started.
So it's running. It's pretty rattly as you can hear. Once it get a bit of revs up, it kind of clears up a bit. But then once it starts idling, it rattles again. But it does start, it does run. So hopefully it's not too serious, but I do fear it is probably a bit terminal. Anyway, you don't know until you push it to its limits. And Mrs. Scooter Bomb certainly did push it. It clocked over 80 kilometers an hour. We suspect it went to about 85, 87 kilometers. And that is pushing this little 50cc pretty damn hard. Anyway, the rebuild on this one coming up soon. Now let's move on to Jogzilla. Well, it is missing the little bolt here and there is a little bit of issue with the clutch in the rear. It's making a whole lot of noise. We'll dive into that one later. So that is the trip guys, some two and a half thousand kilometers into the center of Queensland to check out the Scooter Rally for winter 2024. Great success, met a lot of awesome people. If you guys were watching the video and I had the chance to meet you, please drop a comment, say g'day, maybe subscribe to the video, I'd really, really appreciate it. See you on the next episode where we attempt to get this pre-bug Zuma started once again. Cheers.